Hey. So uh, some more stories on bulimia recovery. Um, do I recommend counting calories if you are trying to recover um, from bulimia? Um, yes and no. Um, I know there's the insanity of um, counting calories, especially when you're trying to restrict. And it's like this terrible numbers game that you're trying to keep the numbers as low as you possibly can, eating huge amounts of cucumber or celery or um, very low calorie foods. And I'm not saying that those foods are bad foods, um, but they they have a nutritional purpose, but they're not um, they're not very carby. They don't give you very much energy, um, and it's mainly energy. You know, they don't really wake your brain up. Um, and they don't leave you very satisfied. They don't leave you very full. You'd have to eat an awful lot of cucumbers. And who wants to eat like seven cucumbers? That's like, what, 140 calories. And it's so great that it's 140 calories, but it's sick. Like nobody wants to do that. Um, the difference with counting calories on this lifestyle, or at least I found it was anyway, it was like, it was a numbers game, but on the opposite spectrum in that you were trying to reach a goal of 2,000 calories or 2,500 calories. Um, whereas in the past, you were trying to keep your numbers down. Now you're trying to push them up. And it was actually just really empowering to be able to do that. Um, to, you know, have a massive bowl of food and just feel very comfortable with it and not feel ashamed of it, not feel like um, I shouldn't be eating like this. But just to feel happy and satisfied and eat every potato and just think, wow, this is good for me. This is fueling me. This is helping me. This is going to make me better. This is the only thing that's going to make me better. Um, and I definitely think that at the start, um, at least the first month, two months, um, it's a very good idea to track a record of your calories, an estimate anyway. Um, and... In a, what was I going to say there? Um, I lost. Focus though on whole foods and keep your dishes very, very simple. Um, I know that at the start, for me anyway, um, I often struggled with making recipes, not because I didn't like cooking or because I wasn't very good at making recipes, um, but because there was a certain anxiety around it for whatever reason. Like, for example, baking a cake or something there was like this like real anxiety built around it because all I wanted to do was like eat all the batter or something. That sounds so repulsive. I know that and I'm sorry, but that's how I felt. So that's my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, so the less preparation time, that might seem like a really silly tip, but that's a good tip as far as I'm concerned. You know, as in, okay, have a massive bowl of rice and that's your meal right there with a salad on the side but like don't bother with like sauteing this or adding a pinch of that or adding a bit of this adding a bit of that um keep it simple um eat like 10 bananas in one sitting um there's um, there's more people out there who will do like very good what eat in a day videos but what i'm saying and you will see a lot of them their meals are very simple and the ones that are very simple, Freely the banana girl, generally she eats very, very simply. And I'm just saying that at the start, I think that that's a really good way of eating to a certain degree. I mean, like, don't think like, okay, I can only eat mono meals. Like, definitely don't think like that. But don't bother trying to overcomplicate things for you. It's gonna, there's going to be so many complications in the first month um, of trying to overcome this first two, three months. Um, just get used to eating the volume of food you need to be eating um, and feeling comfortable with it in your stomach because I know that that's not something that, you know, something I always had was I'd eat my meal. This was when I was um, binging and purging and everything, not when I was a high-carb vegan. But um, I'd eat my meal and then um, I'd be sitting on the couch and kind of like all I could think about is how I wanted to eat the Mars bar that was in the fridge or the packet of biscuits or the whole box of cereal with like milk and sugar on top of it, which technically actually isn't that bad, but I didn't know at the time. Um, but yeah, anyway, I have this going on in the back of my mind always. And the difference when you eat a high carb 
vegan dinner meal um, is you, you're actually, you're really full and you can't really think about food, which is like a weird feeling, I think, for somebody who's bulimic because we're so consumed with food all the time. And all of a sudden your brain changes and food isn't the only thing that's occupying your brain because there's nothing wrong with you that food is occupying your brain. It doesn't mean that you're like a foodie or you're addicted to food. You're hungry. Your brain is occupied with food because it's like, feed me, fucking feed me, feed me, feed me, feed me. That's why that's controlling your thoughts. It's nothing to do with anything else. It's literally that basic. Um, so yeah, it is a weird feeling though, of feeling like really like stuffed is possibly the wrong word, but like, yeah, you're going to feel stuffed, especially in the beginning. Um, so yeah, you're kind of like sitting down after your dinner feeling, you know, maybe even a little bit irritable, I think at the start. I know I did anyway, definitely felt a touch irritable. Um, but then I live in a warm climate, which can make you irritable anyway, sometimes. Um, if you're full in a warm climate can make you irritable, I find sometimes. Um, so yeah, that's my advice to you. Stick to whole foods, keep your things simple, and yeah, do count calories, definitely. Just have an idea, because it, it's actually kind of fun. It's kind of fun trying to hit this like really high target, because you're like, fuck yeah, I've never done this before. Normally I'm trying to restrict them. I can't believe I've like this many numbers, and this is different. This is so different, and this is gonna work. Go begin.